Eastern Visayas field typhoid impact, thousands displaced, power cut, houses torn to pieces, Kaplan City Typhoon Typhoid like a sledgehammer barreled through Eastern Visayas on Monday, December 2nd, sending more than 3,200 families fleeing their homes and seeking refuge at government evacuation centers. Lines exceeding 100 km per hour toppled electric posts, and heavy rain sent many areas underwater. Local government units announced suspension of classes on Tuesday, December 3rd, to keep students out of harm's way. The entire population of Matanas Town, Northern Samar, Province, which has 13 villages, has to be moved out of their homes. The Luis Petutas, Disaster Response Management Officer, said worst hit was the coastal villages of Welser, Well North, Maynabene and Iliadeno where the turbulent sea fleet raced the size of ships at the houses of more than 1,000 families, tearing these into pieces. The villages, facing the Pacific Ocean, have been all but wiped out. We have suffered major damage, said the judo. On Tuesday, he said, the Municipal Risk Reduction and Management Council will recommend the declaration of a state of calamity by the local government. Evacuees had to be transferred to another shelter, the fountain, when the roof of their original evacuation site, the Matanas Central School, was torn off by the wind. Flooding has been reported in the towns of Game, Mondragon, San Rose and Leon, Northern Samar. Police in the region reported at least 3,293 families have been displaced in the provinces of Lake, Southern Lake, Samar, Northern Samar, Eastern Samar and Gilayland. There were no reports of casualties so far but typhoid cut off electric supply in many areas since 8 p.m. on Monday. Sea travel has been cancelled on a massive scale, leaving 1,856 passengers stranded. Edited by TFB. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.